whenever you're making sofrito, the first thing you want to do is, with your chopped onions, add them into a hot pan. I don't like adding the oil first because then it will splatter on you. So we add our onions and then I like to add my olive oil after that. Another good reason is that way we're sure we're using the right amount of oil and not too much, not too little. So we want to instantly saute them and we're working right now with our heat on high. We want to make sure that nothing gets watery, that nothing gets like drawn out with a lot of water. So we want to make sure that we're on high, give them a little stir. As you can see, there's not a lot of oil in our pan, so we're not frying them, we're just sauteing them. And then almost immediately that they're in there, you want to go ahead and add some salt. And then we want to let those cook. We want to let them cook basically until they're kind of soft, not too much color on them, but we want them to be cooked through. We have our onions, they're ready. They have a little bit of color on them, but not too much. We're gonna push them to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and add our bell peppers that are nicely chopped. So in our recipe, it calls for, it's kind of specific as far as the peppers, but use what you have. I like using an array of peppers. I feel like that gives the best um, flavor. My favorites are to combine poblano pepper, guanel pepper, red bell pepper, because they all taste very, very different. So something like a poblano is gonna lend you a little bit of spice. Something like a guanel is gonna hold its shape. Um, and something like a bell pepper, we all know what bell peppers taste like. It's just a good foundation for, for the sofrito. So since we added something new, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. Again, not to fry, but just to kind of get it glistening. Stir that around. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And at this point, we'll also add a little bit of sazon. I would say about half a teaspoon. Um, we're gonna try it anyways, and then from there we'll kind of See what we need. So give it a good mix. We don't have to get our peppers as soft as our onion. We want it to hold a little bit of its a little bit of its texture. Okay, so we've gotten everything a little bit softer, but like I said, they're holding their shape. So we want to move them to the side again. I know this sounds so silly, but the minute my grandmother taught me this, it just made so much sense, and it just makes everything taste so much better. So we're gonna add our garlic in there. And a little bit of the oil. Now that we've separated the veggies from the garlic, it really gives the garlic a chance to kind of become fragrant and as you know delicious as possible versus it being on top of the veggies and steaming and not really getting you know to be as, as tasty as it could possibly be. As soon as you see that it's kind of cooked through and it's about to turn golden, that's when you want to incorporate everything into the pan. We'll add a little bit of tomato paste, so about a teaspoon. We'll add our bay leaves. I love bay leaves. I tend to use a lot of them, but one is probably just enough. Okay, so that's perfect. So as you guys can see, never too much oil. We're not frying it. We're just kind of getting it so that it, enough oil is on there so that it cooks. And then from here, we'll add a little bit of vino seco. That's about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. It's just enough to kind of pick up all the little bits at the bottom of the pan that are crusted on there and incorporate them back into our veggies. Okay, so I'm getting a spoon just to taste it, kind of make sure that the flavors are exactly where I want them to be. And if I need to add anything at this point, I'll add it now. So if I feel like I need a little bit more sazón, this is when you want to do it. You want those dry spices to heat up so they have a chance to kind of bloom and come to the best flavor that they possibly can. All right. 
Me lo haré pero... Mueve el sazón. Cook that together and our sofritos done. 